Hi there, this is David and welcome to my overview and discussion of what is Valkyrie Profile. Here I'm going to be discussing the series and letting you know what it's all about. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Valkyrie Elysium was recently announced and with that, a renewed interest in this obscure legacy series was sparked. Enix as a company has a long history of releasing off-kilter esoteric games under their moniker and Valkyria Profile was no exception. Coming out in the year 2000 for the original PlayStation, it flew under many gamers' radars, and as such, it is now worth quite the pretty penny. I've always been a fan of Enix, ever since the NES days when they published the Dragon Warrior games, and throughout the SNES era as well, where they went on to publish titles such as the Seven Saga, Robotrek, and the Heaven and Earth trilogy. So I knew that this one would be kind of strange, but at the same time, I also knew that it would definitely be quality. The entire series consists of the original on the PlayStation, Somaria on the PS2, and then Covenant of the Plume on the DS, and they all share some common elements, such as a storyline focused on Norse mythology, a Valkyrie maiden as the main heroine, and vignettes centered around death as well as rebirth in Asgard. But even sharing those unifying threads, each of the games themselves are all decidedly different. The original Valkyrie profile stars Leneth, a maiden sent down from Asgard, the Heavenly Realm, to Midgard, the Earthly Realm, where she's tasked to find warriors to send up to Odin who are on the verge of death. This makes for a different and pretty captivating story, as you see some small vignettes showcasing each character's final moments in the events leading up to their ultimate demise. As each of them die, you can choose to have them serve you as personal warriors, or Ihenjar, or send them up to Odin to fight in the final battle of Ragnarok in Asgard. Each character's fate is ultimately up to you to decide, which makes for some pretty open-ended gameplay, as well as a path towards three different endings. My personal recommendation would be to play through the story once just to experience it for yourself, then, if you have time, to play through it with a second time, but this time with a guide to ensure that you see all that there is to see, collect all the characters that there are, and attain the best ending. This actually isn't too painful to do, since you could play through it the first time on the original PlayStation, then again on the PSP remake, Valkyrie Profile Leneth, released in 2006. Also, for those in the know, the game is getting an additional release on the PS4 and 5 whenever Valkyrie Elysium drops in September, making this now one of the most accessible games in the entire series, despite the eye-watering price for the original over on eBay. The same year that the PSP remake of the first game came out, Valkyrie Profile Samaria, a prequel set hundreds of years before the original game, came out for the PlayStation 2. Taking all the great aspects of that first game, but just expanding on them, this was more of a traditional JRPG meets platformers, with more puzzles, a much more coherent story focusing on main characters rather than vignettes, and an increased focus on exploration. Samaria is actually a former Valkyrie who, upon disobeying Odin, was reincarnated and placed in the body of Alicia, the Princess of Daipan. So you actually have two decidedly different characters living in the same body who have to work together to stop a catastrophic war between humanity and the gods. The world of Midgard is war-torn and the King of Daipan wants to put a stop to the interference of the gods, and this leads to the conflict and events of the game as Valkyrie Hirst is sent down to Midgard to stop Sumeria from foiling Odin's plot. While exploring the dungeons in a side-scrolling manner, you can jump, swing your sword at the enemies, but the main crux of your strategy is going to be firing photons, which bounce off the walls, freezing enemies, and then you can use those enemies as platforms to get around and solve various puzzles. Like the first game, combat is turn-based, but with a twist, where you assign abilities to buttons, rather than having access to all of them via a menu. And you can target and break off enemy parts, giving you a huge advantage in battle and possibly granting you some accessories to equip as well. The final game thus far released in this series is a much different take, veering off the PlayStation and onto the Nintendo DS. Here we actually have a strategy RPG, Valkyria Profile Covenant of the Plume. Released in the West in 2008, this acts as yet another prequel to the original game, and unlike the previous two entries, it stars a man, Wilfred, who's on a quest for revenge against Leneth 
after she turned his father into an Ihenjar. So basically, he himself dies in battle, only to be sent to Nefelheim, the realm of the dead, where he's there given the plume of destiny, and then revived, so that he can seek vengeance on Leneth in the afterlife. As a strategy RPG in the same vein as Tactics Ogre or Final Fantasy Tactics, this is a standout game. However, permadeath can be a factor. But this is a mixed blessing, as utilizing the Destiny Plume will power up your characters at the cost of their own mortality, granting your hero new skills and also leading them down the path to the multiple endings that the series is so well noted for. Only by using the Plume and garnering enough sin into it will he gain the power and the intention needed to defeat Leneth. Interestingly, as you make your way through the story, you're going to encounter various characters who will join up with you, but then depending on your story path, those that don't join up with you will later on instead become foes who you have to fight against on the field, leading to some pretty cool battles and face-offs. All told, the story is really well done, and it's as a gem for the portable system. I personally thought that the series had ended with Covenant of the Plume, but I'm so happy to be proven wrong, because here we are, over 15 years after its original release, waiting with bated breath for Valkyrie Elysium. A return to consoles, a return to Midgard, and hopefully a return to form, and not just another Dark Souls clone that Square Enix loves to be spitting out these days. So, that's it for my overview and discussion of what the Valkyrie Profile series is all about. There is a lot here, so I hope that I've demystified some of the things, and if you like this video and what I do here on the channel, please consider supporting me over on Patreon for exclusive videos and early access to my content, coming on over to Twitch for some streaming fun, or coming to my Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them all can be found in the video description. This has been David, and if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.